Hey everyone, John Reed here from Learn to Stargaze and author of 50 Things to See with a Telescope. Just a quick video for those of you with a telescope looking to view the December 2020 conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn, or the Great Conjunction as it's been called in the media. But first, what is a conjunction? A conjunction is whenever two objects in a night sky share the same right ascension. To understand this, think of a map of the sky as a globe. Right ascension is simply longitude. Since planets orbit near the plane of our solar system called the ecliptic, conjunctions typically result in the planets being close together. And in this case, these two planets will appear very close. But in reality, they're not that close at all. Jupiter orbits about 800 million kilometers from the Sun, and Saturn orbits about 1.4 billion kilometers from the Sun. So although from Earth, Saturn and Jupiter appear close together in our sky, Saturn is actually about 600 million kilometers behind Jupiter. There are a lot of articles on the web about how to observe this, but I want to talk about how to observe it with a telescope specifically, because with a telescope, this conjunction will be stunning. And if you happen to have clouds on the night of the conjunction, don't worry, because the cool thing about this conjunction is getting Saturn and Jupiter in the same view through the telescope at the same time. And for that, there is a day or so before and a day or so after the conjunction where that will happen. Okay. First, let's look at this conjunction as if we're stargazing without a telescope. Remember, you do not need dark skies to view the planets. From a city works just fine as long as there are no buildings or trees in the way. So this is today's date, December 13th, 2020. We can clearly see Saturn and Jupiter in the sky in the southwest at approximately one hour after sunset. Now, if we slowly adjust the days forward, we can see Saturn and Jupiter coming together. On about the 16th, we can see the crescent moon rising nearby. And as we move toward the 20th, we can see Saturn and Jupiter are almost on top of each other, appearing almost as a single large planet. And here we are on the date of the conjunction, December 21st. The planets are almost superimposed on each other. You might not even be able to distinguish them as separate dots in the sky without the aid of a telescope. Now, as we move past December 21st, the planets will start to separate again, and we won't see another conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn for about another 20 years. All right, so again, using Stellarium, I've simulated what this conjunction will look like with a small telescope at about 80 times magnification. I've centered the view here on Jupiter, and you can see Saturn here over to the side. The date is currently set to December 17th. And as you can see, you can easily fit the two planets into the field of view at this date. Now, as we move forward in time, we can go to the date of the conjunction. And here you can see the planets quite close together. And at this point, you definitely want to add that Barlow or a lower focal length eyepiece that will allow you to zoom in on these targets to get a better view of Saturn's rings and Jupiter's cloud belts and Galilean moons. As we move past the date of the conjunction, you'll see the planets moving apart, but again, in a small telescope, up to three or four days after the conjunction, it should still be pretty easy to get the two planets in the same field of view. Now, just a few more tips on how to see this conjunction with your telescope. As always, start with the lowest powered eyepiece. That's the one with the highest focal length. After you found Jupiter and Saturn and got them into your field of view, then change to a lower focal length eyepiece or add a Barlow to zoom in. Remember to refocus the telescope between each change of eyepiece. And also remember that people stargazing with you may need to adjust the telescope's focus to fit their prescription. So I hope you get to enjoy this beautiful conjunction and that you're able to share it with your family and safely with your friends. If this is your first time watching Learn to Stargaze, be sure to subscribe. I try to post videos like this as often as I can. And remember, the future is looking up. <laughs>